Hello Aquarius and welcome to your June 2022 Committed Love Reading. Aquarius, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you. So play, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising signs if, to see if there's more information in those for you. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for your trust and support and your likes and subscribes, all your energy and your comments. My name is Rudy and this is Force for the Trees. So thank you all for being here. Let us see what we have for committed love for Aquarius. Now, Aquarius, if you have more than one partner, you will have to discern who this is for. I'm reading for one other energy other than your own. So you will have to discern who this is for, okay? You can also check their moon and rising signs to see, um, you know, watch, watch those videos to see if that's who... If, if you have more than one partner. All right. I'm going to pull three cards for overall energy for both of you. All right. For Aquarius. Committed. All right. Got one that turned over. And one more, please. For Aquarius. Committed. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You have guarded. You have union. And then you had duality, which is beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I just feel like when this relationship started, and it still could be where you are guarded, you're, you maybe you're still may walk the talk, let me see. You know, maybe you're taking your time. Maybe you're not, maybe you're committed, but you're not... Um, Maybe you still have a little bit of reserve, Aquarius. Maybe you still have a little bit of uh, holding yourself back just a little bit on this relationship. But this just tells me that this is a beautiful union. This is a beautiful tie-in together. Um, it's almost like a yin-yang energy. It's almost like a continuation where one ends, another begins. I see that with the duality card as well. I see that with the, um, you know, the infinity symbol. It's like forever and always, right? I see this with the the roads less traveled that you want to travel together, the things you want to do, the places you want to go. You want to be with this person. I see this as like minds that you all come together, that you all are, um, you know, you kind of are on the same wavelength, right? The guarded could be, again, coming out of a, a relationship that you came out of. It could be coming out of a partnership that the partner came out of even, right? It's, it just could be a little bit of, um, I just feel like a wait and see, wait and see, wait and see. But all the other cards, it's almost like you feel like it's too good to be true. You're waiting for the other shoe to fall off, almost, is what I feel. All right, your side for Aquarius, oh, Ten of Wands, and that beautiful card? Ten of Wands for Aquarius, Ten of Wands else do we have okay hangman and four cups your partner has the sun three of swords and whoop, out of my eight of wands bottom of the deck for both of you queen of swords we talk about this energy of um, fairness of truth of being honest of being honest and open with each other not holding things back right not holding things back um that could be where the guarded card comes in. If you have an issue, you need to talk about it. If you have an issue, you need to bring it out in the open. Don't hold it. Don't let it fester. Don't let it grow. Talk about it. Bring it out in the open. All right. Let me get these back over here a little bit. We have the Ten of Wands, the Hangman, and Four of Cups on you. Ten of Wands is a card of burden, carrying carrying a load, carrying a lot on your shoulders, carrying a lot of um, other people's stuff, even. Um, to me, you do it, you gain wisdom. You learned. You are also, you could be doing it to help other people. It can be from getting from point A to point B. Kind of like if you're a nurse and you have to go through all the things to be a nurse, you know, that burden that you have to carry, whatever it is, it's not been easy. It's, you know, you've had a lot on your plate. You have a lot going on. Um, I think there's a good, 
again, the dualities here, the unions here, there's a good sharing here. There's a lot you've learned in this relationship, Aquarius. There's a lot of, you know, some, your different perspective. Listening to other people, seeing other people's perspective, taking other people's advice, not always being right, not always being the one, right? You have this energy of um, growth and learning. Again, not rushing into anything. Four of Cups can talk about complacency. It can talk about boredom. It can talk about um, trying to keep a focus on something where um, it could be trying to change your focus. Change your focus. Whatever it is that, oh golly Aquarius, you know these cards I'm just not feeling. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I feel like, okay, I feel like you feel like you have a heavy burden on you that, that maybe you, you feel like you're doing everything yourself. Maybe that your partner's not helping you at all. Um, maybe you're trying to see the, something from their perspective. Maybe you're trying to, to, to see what they have to go through and you're trying to figure out, you know, um, how to navigate forward or you know try not to be the only one in the picture try to see what else is going on but maybe you are not caring or not wanting to put forth the effort or maybe you don't have it in you because you're tired I almost feel like you feel like you see the glass is half empty instead of half full you know, you need to, to change your focus. You need to change your focus off the negative. You need to change your focus off of what doesn't serve you into what does serve you. I feel the core of the relationship is very solid and very firm. I feel that there's a lot that you both have um, together. There's a lot that you've worked through. There's a lot that you will continue to work through. Um... I just feel with this guarded card, it's like, I don't know if you've ever really trusted this person. I don't know if you've ever really uh, given in to them or uh, it's my dog if you hear that noise, sorry. If you, um, you know, it's, it's like focusing on what you have and not what you don't have. Focusing on what you lost and, and not what you have now. It, it's like you need to change your perspective. You need to change your focus. Know the Ten of Wands. Know the hardship. Know that carrying the load is almost over. You could be carrying the brunt of something. Um, kind of like if your partner's going to, through school and you're, you're working to help put them through school or whatever. And then maybe they'll work and then you go through school. Your burden is almost over. You know, shift your focus, shift your perspective. Um, seeing something as positive. Seeing something as positive. Seeing something as, yes, we'll get through this. You know, you all are very strong. There's a very strong, fierce energy here of, um, of truth and validation and wisdom and communication. Your partner has the Sun card, the Three of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. The Sun is new beginnings, new starts, right? New direction. Um, starting clean, starting over. New beginnings, like I said. Partner wants to do it with you. Partner wants to do this with you. Partner wants to walk this way with you. There's some hurt. There's some heartache, okay? Your partner could have hurt you, or you could have hurt your partner, there's some heartache that your partner is going through. There's some type of hurt. There's some type of growth also here that your partner is learning from. Maybe learning something the hard way. Learning a lesson the hard way. They're having to deal with this. This could be heartache. This could be a loss of somebody. This could be, um, you know, feelings were hurt even. Or this could be... Um, 
This could be even where you all were maybe together and broke up and then got back together. And you both are healing from that because you have the guarded and they have the three of swords. There's eight of wands. So you have this, they have this fast moving energy. They have this energy of um, passion and desire and what they want to accomplish coming whoosh, straight through, right? Straight through. It's like, uh, I just feel like if they feel like you are slighted or they feel like you're not comfortable, they're going to do everything in their power as quick as they can to make you feel better. And either they're doing it and you're not accepting it, they're doing it and you find it too much of a burden or too much, uh, too much, or this is yet to come. It's like they're going to make things right. They're going to do things to the best of their ability to make things better or make things um, kind of play out or work out for both of you. You know, I love the union card and I love the duality. I feel too that Aquarius, you might have asked the question, maybe you all are both too much alike. Maybe you're both too much alike. I mean, I think they'll move mountains if, it, if that's what it's going to take. Could be words. There could be words that were said. Could be an incident even. But your partner wants a new start, new beginning, a fresh, you know, a fresh take on the relationship. Kind of pull, pulling you out of your heaviness. All right. Let's see what your challenge is for you and your partner, Aquarius. What is Aquarius's challenge for their, themselves and their partner? Aquarius and their partner. Knight of Swords, moving forward, taking action. Not being afraid to speak the truth. Not being able, not being afraid to communicate. Going after what you want. It's your challenge. Go after what you want. See what is in front of you. Don't focus on what you don't have anymore. See what you have left. See what you have left sal that's salvageable. Moving forward, you know, taking action, moving ahead, talking, communicating, um, taking the action needed to do what you have to do to save your relationship if you want to save it. I don't think it's on the brink of not saving. I just think there's there's issues going on. So if you don't want the issues to go farther is what I'm saying. Whoops, I just dropped a card. Hang on a second. All right, this is what fell was the two of cups. You know, the action you need to take is to know that you all are there for each other. You all have each other's backs. There's a lightness. It's like looking in the mirror. There's There's a... There's a partnership. There's there's a duality here. Again, we have this. Right? There's a union. There's a knowing. See the love. Remember the love. The action you need to take is remember the love that you all have. Remember the love you all share. Remember the love you all have together. What do you want to do with it? Your cups, your emotions, your feelings. Share them. Put them out there. Talk about them. All right. Self-worth and maturity. You know, um, you have to be able to get up every day and look in the mirror and be okay with yourself and, and know that you're good. Know that you can do this. Know that you can uh, face the world, right? 
And if there's any compromise in the relationship that doesn't make you feel that way, then you probably don't need to be in it. You also need to know that you have self-worth and that your self-esteem and that your self-love matter more than anything. And you have to have that first and foremost. And that's the work you need to do on yourself, Aquarius. Nobody can do that for you. No partner in the world can do that for you, right? You have to put the work in yourself. And that along with that will come limitations and boundaries and all the things you need to set. So that could be taking a long, hard look at what you need to do where maybe you're not just a people pleaser. Maybe you're not just, you know, um, doing something for everybody else, letting go of that and knowing that, uh, that that's not what defines you, right? That's not what defines you. Looking for a mature relationship, looking for growth in the relationship, looking for a relationship that is withstanding that will withstand the elements that will withstand the test of time and will grow and will grow with right the sunflower turns toward the sun so following it right so you're you're looking for something that will continue that will continue that yes you put the work into anything that is going to grow you have to put work into right you have to but maybe, again, with the guard, guarded card, maybe it is, um, you know, being able to let go of that a little bit. I'm going to see what the, what does the book say on guarded? Perhaps you need a guard and to guard and protect your heart, something you are working on, or a relationship, or help someone else needs you to help them feel safe and secure. I just, again, I think, again, with the guarded, that, that's part of. You need to just, uh, to be able to feel that, to be able to feel that you can trust. And then whatever happened here, to, to get that trust again, to get that feeling of trust back again. Embrace your emotions. Embrace your emotions. All right. Beautifully said. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. Talking things through. Being blunt and straight and to the point. Don't hold things back. Don't be afraid of hurting somebody. Say things in a way that is nice, but you're getting things done you don't have to be mean and ugly about anything but things need to come to the surface things need to be said things can't be held in and bottled up all right feelings and emotions are part of who we are allow yourselves to feel what is going on for you your feelings can alert you to the truth of a situation. Take positive steps to determine why you feel the way you do. Emotions come under four categories, happiness, sadness, anger, and fear. Once you figure out what is going on for you, you can take power away from an emotion. Experiencing an emotion you are uncomfortable expressing can be a big challenge. Journaling is a way, of, is a way to process and clarify difficult emotions. Writing about your emotions will help you organize your thoughts and work through your feelings. All right. And I, that goes for both of you. That's not just for you, Aquarius. That's for both of you all. All right, Aquarius. Thank you all for watching. Good luck to you. Let me know how this resonates. He's moved right next to me to chew his bone now. Sorry about that. Let me know how this resonates. Remember, you have two very, very, very strong cards here with the duality and the the union card so hold on to that uh, know that your path that you're on is the right path if you choose it to be um, and want to work on it right want to work on it both of you same thing take care stay safe take care of each other if you like these readings i put out readings every saturday for the week ahead for health career and finance and love so um, hit the notification bell and subscribe if you don't want to miss any of those all right, Aquarius, take care of yourself. Stay safe and healthy until next month. Bye for now.